Hello sports lovers, this is Mess Sports TV. We are privileged to have Ghana's most outstanding boxing manager, a GBA executive member on Time with the Icons. Before I mention his, his name, kindly subscribe to the channel, press the like button and also share our content. And he goes by the name Yofi Boham. Welcome sir. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Great. <laughs> okay. So, before we get into your boxing aspects, we want to know your background. Where were you born, sir? Uh, I was born in Sekendi, uh, in the Sekendi Takradi municipality, uh, in the year of 1948. Uh, 23rd January is my birthday. Okay. Nice, nice. Yes. But you are looking, st you are still looking young and strong. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> It's all how I uh, keep myself up. Uh, so, by the grace of God, uh, having attained 73, quite a uh, uh, number of friends admire my posture, my physique. And uh, it's all by the grace of God. And it's uh, to His glory. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, being born in the Second Day Takrade municipality, where did you school? Uh, I schooled at, uh, we have uh, Howard Memorial, then uh, went to Kisley Hayford, then switched to the Methodist Education Unit, and uh, I did my O-levels privately. Okay, yes. okay so we, we children of today know nothing about O-level and A-level. <laughs> so... How was your family background like? Uh, how was home growing up? Right. Um, uh, my mom, who is still alive at the age of 93. Uh, glory uh, be to God. Yes. And uh, my dad, who is late some years back, you know, uh, to the best of my knowledge, weren't into sports. Yes, uh, they didn't uh, feature much in sports. But my uh, my uh, uh, maternal uncle, who happened to be their last born, was into boxing. But uh, he didn't go far with it okay. uh, in the Western region. He was training at the, the community center, which uh, the late Eddie Blay also used to train. Uh, I think uh, a lot of boxing enthusiasts, Ghanaians, know of Eddie Blay. Yes. Okay. So, we know your uncle introduced you to boxing. But how many children do you have? Your family? My family, yeah. It's, uh, I have five girls now and one boy. Okay. Yes. Uh, but they also... Um, aren't into sports at all. It's the boy who uh, got himself into music uh, whilst in school or just after school. He set up the Lifeline family. Uh, he happens to be Yofi Boham Jr. And uh, he is likened to the song Wusisi Yawoya. So what That's right. That is his uh, lifeline family, Yofi Boham Jr. and uh, Wusisi Yeoya. Okay. Now, to boxing. Let's talk about boxing because that's the main reason why we are here. Right. Uh, you started at the Spartan Gym. Give us the story how, how you got to the Spartan Gym. Right. Uh, uh, I started on the advice of or on the invitation of uh, Roy Ankara and uh, we both of us had a tailor called uh, Ajay on the Ogul Street who was sewing our, our, our dresses, our shirts and Ajay had a son who was uh, uh, who, who, who was a boxer okay. but not of uh, top caliber 
and he wanted me to manage the boxer. So uh, through that, uh, I got into boxing, but first into the amateur ranks, and then uh, gradually represented uh, 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 them at the Greater Accra Amateur. Uh, uh, okay. Before you, you, you get into it, what year was this? Oh, honestly, to remember the years, it's well over 40, 45 years. <laughs> then apparently you were just a young man starting life as a Yes, matter. yes. So uh, I happened to represent uh, the clubs at the amateur, greater Accra amateur, and gradually uh, got to be introduced to uh, Ajay. This Ajay introduced me to two boxers uh, that happened to be their manager. That's uh, Remus Ajari, who is late now, and uh, Tandaye, George Tandaye of Atimpoku, who is now uh, the coach for the Eastern Region. So uh, I, I was licensed as a boxing manager to manage these two boxes. And uh, Sparta was the gym with uh, Supervisor Suwa who is the founder of uh, Sparta, uh, handling all affairs, but his son, who was nicknamed Bigafru, was the one who was uh, the trainer for the boys. Okay. So gradually, Tondaye and Remus Ajari they were your first. climbed, uh, yes, they were my first, first products, gradually climbed the boxing ladder to be national champions. Tandaya went ahead to become the uh, uh, Commonwealth champion and became the historic uh, Commonwealth champion at two weight uh, divisions. divisions. That's the featherweight and then super featherweight. So he was the first to do it in Ghana? The first to do that in Ghana as okay. a Ghanaian. Okay. So fast forward, how did you meet? your two most awesome products uh, ike Corti. you can see his name that's right then and then alfred, alfred cobra Corti. right the cobra you the cobra yeah. how i would want to know how they got the bazooka and the cobra so, right uh the they're the, all their nicknames before even i got them okay yes ike's bazooka you know the bazooka was his from his punching power. Okay. Uh, and even not, not punching power, the jab. The jab. I can say, and up to today, that uh, Ike's jab was the best in the world. Match. I, I, I said, to yes. I said even up to, to present, Ike's jabs oh, very awesome. Because jabs that can uh, mesmerize uh, faces, destroy faces, it's terrible, you see. So, uh, well, I met these two guys. Uh, it's uh, uh, some uh, one enthusiast uh, manage, uh, who was managing them, but uh, he was finding it difficult. So I was approached, and I quick, I accepted the challenge and uh, signed on to manage them and uh, quickly started to uh, uh, turn them pro yes turn them professional we i the 10 professional under my under your watch my watch and then uh, started the, the handling their career it was then that uh, uh, aided by um, uh, the present SWAC president got them named as the Boxing Whiskets of Ghana. Because Ike went to the third round in the Olympics, right? Yes, I uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Ike went, but he lost. He lost his yes. third fight. But know. Alfred Cote suffered an injury. You see, a deep cut, a very nasty cut. So. He was uh, 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 ruled out not to continue. The uh, medical team 
protested vehemently, but uh, the uh, 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 officials wouldn't uh, allow. So Alfred Kote became the only boxer who qualified to the metal medal zone, but uh, couldn't progress to fight and end uh, uh, the, 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 medal. the medal. Just unfortunate. Among these two, you had the two precious jewel of Ghana boxing as at that time. Okay. How difficult was it, or how challenging was it to to manage these two uh, world champion in the making at that time? In the making at that time, yes. Because <laughs> even now, when you speak to boxing managers, even having one boxer or just ordinary boxers who don't even let's say as quote and unquote journeymen it's not even easy than to have two olympians two future world champions <laughs> honestly it was really really challenging because uh, uh, you have to you know uh, uh, sacrifice a whole lot of uh, 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 a whole lot of uh, things. Even your own children, your wife. If you don't take care, might uh, 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 have differences with you. And did you experience that? Yes, at the time. But at a certain time. <laughs> I was left to go ahead with things. So the children all joined. My wife joined. When uh, 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 promoting, they all joined as to how to sell the tickets, how to organize everything. It, it's all hands on deck. Even my son, that's uh, Yofi Boham Jr., uh, who, f uh, who follows uh, the wife of Azuma, was... Uh, uh, was always uh, in the ring, so quite a lot of people knew him more than the sisters. He was always always in the ring, lifting high the rounds, the rounds card. People knew him at that time. Okay. Yeah. Nice. But later on, you parted ways with Ike Bazooka Corte. Yes. Yes. How was the whole saga like? Yes. At, at that time, Ike was in France. Yes, yeah, he wasn't in France. He was in Ghana. Okay. He was in Ghana on even uh, it was at that time that he had a fight for the African title. And that was the African title which uh, uh, really uh, brought out the, the, the plot to uh, uh, snatch Ike from me. Well, not that there, were, uh, there, there wasn't contract. Uh, you know, I was handling them as a uh, father and uh, sons. They were, we were, we were, they, we were, we're as family. a family. You see Ike in the kitchen, that's my house preparing a cake with my wife to bake he himself. Everything was done in common. You see them in my office. In those days, uh, you see Ike behind the typewriter. Yeah, so we were, as a family, not, not even uh, I and the boxers alone. I and the boxers and the trainers. Everybody was treated as a family member. So... Uh, as it is, it is a long story, but then, uh, just a gist of it, it was a plot which Raincraft Promotions, then headed by uh, uh, Mr. Kemmer, with the next in command, the two of them, Dr. Kukwa Tekwe and uh, Setasa. Did, uh, did did plot in that manner. 
and it all started when we were in London. I caught him went to the airport that he threw to see a French footballer off and happened to meet Setasa, the late Setasa there. And he asked, oh, what are you doing over here? We had then gone to London for Africa to defend the Commonwealth title to Danny Porter. Okay. Yes. But Ike was not on the belt. No, no, he wasn't on the belt. He was on the traveling team. Team. The traveling, the whole, the entourage. The two coaches, Ike, Dr. Uh, 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 Oko Damton, and then, uh, and then uh, Philip, Pro, Philip Crotty, okay. uh, the son of uh, the late Atukwe Crotty. Yes. Then the two boxers. So we went as a team. This is it. So it's when he, he went to the airport and met Dr. Oko Kwatekwe. Then he got uh, uh, Dr. No, Dr. Uh, Setasa, and Setasa asked him to meet him or come to his to the office when they are back. And this was the same very people who told my wife that uh, she should encourage me to handle the boys, and that. Uh, they, they, uh, they were and they would be world champions. So uh, she was convinced simply because when I was signing them on, my wife was away out of the country. Okay. And when she came and met that I had signed on these two boxes, she grew mad because a lot of expenditure or money was going into boxing. I was having Tondaye, Remo Sajari, then a couple of, you know, fighters. So that was where she picked the contract, the contract that had been signed, and went straight to their shop, their carpet shop, at, uh, uh, I think, Kowloon or thereabouts. In those days, that's where they were. You have a building called Tunisia House. Okay. Yeah, they were uh, adjacent to Tunisia House. So they went, my wife went to them because they, my wife also has a family house just opposite their shop. So we were conversing. But then we became friends. That is uh, Raincraft and uh, uh, me. Simply because John Kemmer happened to be a friend to my sister's husband, my sister who follows me. Okay. The husband just uh, passed, uh, Mr. Akuto, Honorable Akuto, who set up the Great Africa Insurance. These were two friends back in the US. So when we came together in boxing, it became something which was uh, 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 lovable to all teams. We all loved it because we used to meet over dinner and everything together. So when my wife picked up the contracts on return from US, she went straight to Raincraft, Kema, complained to them, and they said, oh, she should encourage me to go ahead with them and that they would be world champions, they are prospects, and that they are not interested even in any new boxers, they weren't going to sign on any new boxers. The last boxer they were uh, uh, promoting or having at that time was Nanaya Okunedu. Who later became a world champion. Yes. Nanaya Okunedu, who was a, a world champion. The, after, after Nanaya Okunedu, they, were, they wouldn't sign in any boxer Boxer's again up. because it's, it's a really challenging uh, job. job. So we were convinced. So it became very, 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 very surprising when this uh, uh, turn of events happened. And even I wasn't in the know much, but there was a function in their uh, uh, hotel at that time. They were running a hotel at Achimota. And it was there that Azuma Nelson questioned the late uh, Dr. Koko Atekwe that what do you, how do you have to do that? 
by doing that you are stabbing your your your, your friend see and that the cook took away answered that oh, even Don King does it <laughs> so it's nothing strange I said okay if Don King does it in the US does it mean that you should also do it over here so then and then it it happened that uh, an African title was to be promoted for Ike all that I realized was uh, one early morning at dawn is it dawn or late night my door at my door uh, at my uh, gate there was huge knock here they were gentlemen from Raincraft. dr kukwatikwe setasa all led by a large show me williams large show me williams uh, unfortunately is now uh, indisposed but uh, still kicking he was then head one of the heads of uh, Ghana boxing and also one of the heads of the Islamic community very very noble noble gentleman he led them and he's someone who was very very close to me and uh, came to me that uh, an issue had uh, rubbed up and that uh, my wife was taking them to court you know <laughs> and that uh, they were coming to plead with me led by Alaji show me said okay so they left and with the message that I'm needed at uh, the National Sports Council. That is first to the castle. Castle? Osu. Yes, Osu. But then to touch on uh, Simpia Santi at that time, Colonel Simpia Santi. So I, I got to him, and all that they told me was I have a message from the, me from the head of state. The, the head of state was a friend to my. To my uh, wife's uh, late brother at that time okay for the record who was the head of status at that time uh, jj rollins okay yes and so uh the it was a simple message that i should leave everything and that uh, we are in a small community that is ghana as a small country not compared to the u.s whereby Okay, if it's U.S., you take any action, it can happen that uh, you wouldn't be meeting each other again. It's very, very wide. But here, you'll be meeting at each other any time. At events. Yes, at events, time and again. So, it was, they were pleading, I leave everything. Because my wife was going to put an injunction on the fight. And the fight was to happen in about two, three days' time. Opponent has arrived and everything. So I intervened and left everything, much to the annoyance of my wife. Yes. So uh, this is what Raincraft right. did and uh, snatched I. Like. At that time too, I had signed on, I had signed on uh, promoters in the U.S. And they had, you know, put in, filing their... Uh, papers from the US through an attorney and it took one year to process so they could have gone to the US all the same but uh, Ike and Oko decided to stay and then Alfred and uh, Philip they went they proceeded to the US but then it all uh, happened uh, surprisingly Ike won his world title a month later. Later, Alfred. Alfred also won. So, you know, it's all the time of promotion. Yes. So, what, what, what difference uh, did that make? Hey. Okay. But now, I want to know 
you you were uh, promoting and managing Alfredas at that time. That's it. Take us through the preparation. How a world champion prepares for a bout because it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Like take us through how you uh, your your team prepared right from training, dieting, apparels, and hotels. How does a world? How does what happens be like Alfred Court? Right. Uh, it. Uh, it takes a lot of dedication and seriously well, uh, you have to put in place a proper planning technically health wise and uh, you know socially you don't leave room to socialize just like that I can afford were boxers whom uh, I wasn't even camping them in uh, Accra. They would be staying at uh, Botiano, the beach. Okay. They were had we had some friends there. They would be there, and then driven to Accra to train. After training, they are driven back, not to socialize amongst uh, friends. Friends over here much more when even uh, fights are approaching no now to prepare a world champion needs much planning when he is preparing for a fight one you have to uh, uh, get your contract signed about uh, at least 60 days if you have to sure. train well be conditioned very well you don't accept fights just like that about 60 days minimum then boxer goes through the training regimen the training regimen seriously vigorously and you will be very 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 articulate about his movement very very close to him you 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 you'll be watching his movement not you alone but the technical team you don't leave him to uh, move loosely around no and his diet i had a dietitian a dietitian who was uh, taking care of their diet I had a medical officer who became Professor Fitzwilliams of Kolebu. He was the doctor because he was he did sports medicine. Okay. So he was the one who I relied on mostly, and his he was from the time of uh, 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 Tandaye and Remosa Jari. Your my, first boxes. That's right, my first boxes. So he carried on with uh, these chaps as well when I was managing them. Okay. So now fast forward to when Cobra became a world champion. Right. <laughs> I want to know the feeling like yes. when, when he was officially declared a right. world champion. Knowing him right yes. from the scratch, yes. too. That's right. How are you feeling like? Uh, well, that was a joyous moment. A joyous moment for me, whereby it was to prove a point. And the point was when uh, I caught it, went to the press, uh, the editor of Graphic Sports then was Felix Abayate. And uh, Felix failing to contact me and then came out with a, with a story by Ike that uh, I'm a go slow, a go slow promoter, manager to promoter. That is when 
he returned from London. He went straight with uh, his, uh, 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 should I say, his, um, uh, uh, his mentor, who is also late this time, called, uh, um, forgotten his name, but uh, he was a guy, but a Muslim. So they went straight to the press and uh, released a statement. F following morning, uh, front page said, "Okay." So when I confronted Felicia the the the, uh, the, the, the the editor, he had simply told me oh, I should bring a rejoinder. I told him I wasn't interested in any re rejoinder. The number of people who have, whom I have been damaged to wouldn't be the same number of people who read my rejoinder. So I left it. But people were thinking that I would uh, seek on drastic action against uh, 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 Aikoti. I didn't. And that's why my wife's uh, uh, intention to... Uh, to, to block his African title fight wasn't uh, approved by me. I just let it go. Better days ahead. Yes. But then, all that I was praying for was for Alfred also to get a world title opportunity to prove a point, to prove that go slow point. And lo and behold, you cannot get them to fight on the same day. Yes. Yes. Because they fought different world bodies. I fought for the WBA yeah. with the Akaris brothers in France, with uh, Raincraft as a local promotion uh, uh, and management team. And Alfred fought in London for the WBA. WBO Bantamweight Championship. So this is how it happened. Okay. Now, Alfred for some time now was based in the United States. Um, all of a sudden, we heard of his demise. Do you know what happened or something? Well, uh, were you still in contact with him? Uh, no, we lost contact to each other. You know, most boxers, uh, the moment they hung up their gloves, uh, they disappear from the scene. But in 2017, I think uh, I went and met him in the U.S. I met him in the U.S. when I was going to, uh, at, when I was attending the WBO convention. I visited my son in the U.S. and continued to uh, the convention, which was held aboard a cruising a, a, a cruise liner. So, in U.S., in New York, Bronx, I met him over there. Uh, he was there attending the gym, but hardly did I sight him. Well, uh, he was here, and because I uh, relocated him to U.S., he established some companionship over there okay. so then he was assisted to uh, move to the u.s and uh, he got as himself associated with uh, a renowned boxing trainer asante in the u.s they were visiting the gym together but when i got there he wasn't available till i left to the convention okay. to uh, uh, where we went and uh, consummated uh, as you do base uh, 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 WBO fights. Mm -hmm. But then I didn't hear of him till uh, one morning I had a call of a doctor looking for his relatives and uh, followed up to as the reason 
and then I got to know that uh, he had passed on. Then the last question, can you educate us on the role of a manager in boxing? What role does the manager play in boxing? Um, you, you see, yeah, the career, the boxer's career solely rests on your shoulders, on the manager's shoulders. So, you have to ensure his uh, training is well, uh, well, well uh, arranged. He trains, he his uh, uh, diet is well uh, uh, done. He, his social life is also controlled, and uh, you know you don't leave him to be you know roaming about when he is uh, when he is uh, uh, not having fight. It's not the increase You rather ensure that uh, uh, he maintains his, tra his training regime at a certain level, gradually, gradually watching his weight so that uh, it doesn't bloat, blow up in weight, and then when it comes to reduce, becomes a problem. I, for one, have hardly encountered because you have to have your off fight weight to a certain level so that when it comes to reducing your weight for the way in the that's what become today is Friday just about three four days ago I was on John Lai June 30th or oh, July 30th it's just around the corner. So at this time, he had to be at a less certain level. Got the weight and do them fine. He should maintain it. And then the following week he comes down with it. And the final week he makes the weight. Makes the weight. And uh, it's never going to be a problem. So this is weight alone. Controlling the one's weight is very difficult. Very difficult. So this is it. Then you watch his training regime, how he responds to the lessons given by the coach. And then you must ensure that your boxer is always well conditioned before you get him to Hopefully you want to avoid the casualties. <laughs> so this is why uh, with the GP executive uh, member on the promotions committee, uh, I happen to be a bit strict as to the weight of the contract. When scrutinizing the contract, I make sure there are no mismatches. Even two boxers might be in the same weight class, but yes, but one might be far, far, far experienced than the other. We don't match the two. Only it's unfortunate I don't have much uh, data or much history about the local boys. See, unlike the boys in international, you read about them, so you get to know who you are fighting. You read about them, and today, not unlike our years, you have the video, you have the YouTube, you can, yes. Unlike our, year, our time, when even uh, you, 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 you will be asked to produce a video of your boxer onto a tip, and then uh, afraid it to make your Australia and that before you'll be accepted. It's not, uh, it wasn't easy for us at all. And uh, you also have to look for, ask for your boxers to study the opponent. But today, you just at the click of a mouse, computer mouse. <laughs> and the videos are happening. Yes. So, we will know 
the caliber of the boxer you are fighting. You need to prepare, you get your boxer to be prepared at your coach and all that. I'm happy about that for that for now. But so like our time, you weren't getting it. To get a fight for Icotti was a hell. And that was a time when uh, uh, Tony Ekubia of UK, a Nigerian born in UK, said manager wouldn't give him to fight Icotti. So Icotti also never fought for the Commonwealth. It's Africa he fought. Yeah. I, I was to have fought Tony Ekubia. But his manager, Tony Kubia's manager, Jack Trickett, we didn't uh, uh, <laughs> allow. He never accepted it, simply because I was very devastated. Yes. And his memorable fight in Ghana was, which I promoted, was Akoti versus uh, Tuba Briggs, a Nigerian uh, monster. And I knocked him three times the first round. I got a super job. Yes. Bilahoya was surprised about Exeter and Venom Forest. Yes. You see, they, they, they at least uh, estimated him. They didn't, you know, uh, 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 ever dreamt that I, Ice Jab would have been so stingy. And uh, Bilahoya said it right. Two weeks after the fight, he was still in pain. You see, two weeks after the fight, he was still in pain. But uh, well, I once came across a question: Did Ike really lose the fight? I came across that that question, and uh, it was on the social distance. I I decided to stay back. You had uh, to be you, you against had, De La Hoya. Yes, you, you, I don't think. De La Hoya, as at that time, was a cash cow boxing, right. Mexican-American. That's right. He was the one bringing, he, yes. he was the go, Olympic gold medalist. That's right. Golden boy. The Osway. If Ike won, to me, Ike won. I had it 115, 113 in favor of Ike. Mm -hmm. But a fight 115, in, 115, 113 in favor of Ike. Could have swung in De La Hoya's favor because he was a cash cow. Yes. Very right. Okay, that was a million dollar question, and um, I, I, I'm, I'm praying there should be a forum to bring this for discussion for our future uh, uh, boys you know, to be uh, to be up and coming of such a fight. Uh, it is reported online, let's graphic online the change in the looks of Ike. He's been accused of being a drug addict. You know him personally. What are your views? Do you believe in those rumors? Uh, another million dollar question. But uh, you see, Ike is not that type. Ike is not that type. But unfortunately, we are not living together. Because if I would testify to Ike. Ike and Alfred were two kids that uh, we were dressing them up in their suit. They were following my wife to the church on Sundays. Holy Trinity. Cathedral. Yes, that's where my wife was worshipping. But I'm at Calvary Methodist Church. So they will follow. We had a wedding. We attended a wedding at Tachimata School, Josaki. They were in their suit, following us. We weren't boxer manager, uh, 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 so, that sort of thing. We were father and son, son of a family. Ike's, Ike's first son, yes. Michael, was my senior. The first son. The first son. The first son was Junior. Yes. He was my senior in school. So Fine. I came to drop him after some time. I think after, after one particular bout. That was the time I got to see Ike for the first time. I, uh, I, I was even late. So we were standing at far when he came. School had, classes had already started because I had to jump before breaking him. So we had to stand from afar and watch Ike from a distance.
festas. So it was the first time he seen like that. So we were at a, we were a family. And he was a kid, the, the son was a kid. Whenever he falls sick, then uh, I fall on the, my friend and call him the lady the son. So the mother takes him to the nursery and uh, he's taking care of him. These are how we start. And I'm happy whenever I start entering for the other people. Dr. Uko uh, 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 for instance, wasn't the coach. I made the coach. All by technical, you see my technical brain. I made him a coach. Aligned his name to Icotti as a trainer. And Philip Plotti attached to me uh, as a coach as a team. That made us travel as a team. Okay. For the for the purpose of uh, acquiring their various visits. Here is a boxer with his trainer. And technically, a boxer cannot travel with his trainer. You cannot force another trainer on him. So with them in their offices, where this is the boxer, this is trainer, you travel, this boxer, this is trainer. And that came to stay. So Dumpton wasn't a, 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 a trainer who was uh, uh, assigned to Icotti uh, by Granny. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mohan, for talking to us. The, the Ghanaian boxing encyclopedia. He knows it all. He has been in this boxing game for over 40 years. And when we need something about Ghanaian boxing, he is one of the go to men. He has seen it all, he has lived it all, he has been there the highs and low, whatever. And do you know one boxing event which cannot go uh, unmentioned? It's the first ever bout bringing into the ring of two former world champions, retired world champions for a novelty boxing match. And uh, I teamed up with the Australians. Azuma Nelson Fennett 3. Yes. Uh, Azuma was 50 years old at that time. I think so. Yeah. I think much of the details. Yeah, you see. And it was a memorable uh, event. Uh, they had wanted to promote it in Indonesia. Fennett had a, a, a merchandise. Registered merchandise. Australia doing uh, manufacturing this uh, boxing equipment. And so, uh, uh, Angelo, Angelo Haida, who was uh, his uh, corner man, who was his trainer, one of his top trainers, spoke to me, Why can't we do something in Australia? As you know, Felix. Something not right. I said, no, why not? Okay. But then, yeah, we couldn't get the TV. The idea that was rooted was then uh, 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 accepted by uh, in Australia. The TV was there. We then would be the promoter. So, an event organizer, my my, 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 uh, my Sparks, accepted. So he went in for a boxing license <laughs> and then uh, we started the negotiation that took us to Australia. One, then we came back and it was so memorable. You come and see old women rushing to get the names of Azuma. Old women, old men who knew Azuma in the past. Trunging to the training game and trunging to seeing the, 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 the training hall, uh, 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 it was a hall for them to get out of that. A lot of them did the photography. So it was very memorable. And some will come and then uh, give a history. 
was very, very well. And I quite, that's why, that has been my uh, most cherished event. You see how I was very slow. Just get a step out of the country. And with Ajuma, you are accepted at all places. This is what boxing does. Boxing takes the name of Ghana higher. It leaves a mark on the world. And we must be proud of the boxers, especially those who have won titles for us. We must cherish them. We must put to respect on the name of Ike Bosuka Kurt. If not for anything at all, he has taken Ghana to the world. Sir, there, there, there's more I would want to talk of. Your grandson, Azuma Junior, he is in boxing. Uh, uh, your, 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 your future plans, I, would you still continue in boxing after this administration? And what you think? I think that one I should ask you. What, what should we do in order to develop Ghana boxing? Well, uh... Uh, putting this COVID issue aside, uh, we should be serious in our, in our, uh, in our planning. It's uh, boxing is so it's a business, very commercial, and if we don't plan it well, we, we, we don't get anywhere. We have the television, we have. Uh, the networks which can uh, you know prepare the promoters to and encourage them to promote more so for instance the new administration you see the, uh, the vice president and Spain coming out with proposals which I think is very very secretariat for them Period, uh, boxing TV. It's first to set it up, and then second to market the sport, which is market the Ghana boxes. It's it's very very necessary. If you don't market them, where will be our stand? So uh, this is it. Uh, I am there. I will, uh, there to give out a uh, helping hand. Wherever I'm in there, and uh, proof sites with the kickboxing, uh, happen to be honored and the Ghana kickboxing ambassador. That's a great honor. And, uh, the COVID has really slowed as now, but hopefully, we hope to pick up uh, very soon at this kickboxing. Now, with boxing, also. Efforts have been made to improve uh, promotions and then for promotions to come in as a frequent as it is to build up the boxes. We have quite a number of boxes. Yesterday I came across one, a light heavyweight. And from his utterances, you can tell that this is a boy who is very, very determined, very serious to go he is uh, at one of the gyms in Kolego. Uh, he is yet, he has 10 police up to this license. Uh, I like him with uh, I have lost his name. But then, my grandson, you know, he is, uh, he, has, he is now doing his national service from the university. And uh, we have started his training. Last week, I, uh, three days ago, I and my father we had, had a phone chat. Then I have a nephew also. A nephew who is, who is a graduate, graduated in Scotland, has done his service with the bank here. And now he, he says he will do boxing. So he's also into it and uh, seriously preparing. We hope to see him very soon. Yeah, bless me. <laughs> So this is it. I, 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 I wish there's enough time to extract every bit of knowledge from Mr. Boham, but time will not allow us. Thank you for watching. 
subscribe to the channel press the like button comment and share our content so others can enjoy stay positive